Hey everybody, welcome to another video. This is going to be specific and hopefully a short one on the best settings for SRP or for those of you that have double peak times, this might apply to you, but more specifically and with SRP, our power plan that we've recommended for solar has been the average price or customer generation, essentially the one that has net metering, but demand charges. So the peak times for SRP are two to eight in the summer, but in the winter, we have 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. is the peak time and then 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the issue with that is that Tesla doesn't support double peak times. And if you ask them, their response has been, most of the world doesn't have double peak times. So that's kind of what's going on where we're not gonna prioritize it. And until more people have double peak times, it's not gonna be a priority for Tesla. So what do you do? There are options for third-party apps. I've mentioned this in other videos, but that's not feasible for most. You have to either root your phone or do some other things or write a script and, it's a little more technical than the average user, and it's going to be a barrier to entry for SRP that some may not even be thinking about. So if you have SRP, my recommendation that is kind of accommodated uh, a little bit more hands off is essentially right now it's 4.52 p.m. I'm about to hit peak time in about eight minutes. And as you can see, I have one power wall and it's at 100 percent. I'm at 41 percent self-powered. But the setting under customize is under the edit price schedule is an advanced time of use. And I have it for five to nine. And this isn't to say you choose a setting for the, and you have to choose the peak time you want, which isn't great because if you start to accrue demand charges, um, that's not great from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. And that's what Tesla told me. It's just, you have to pick one. And I didn't want to do that. So, this has been the best setting. It's 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's pretty much hands off and you'll have a lot of coverage. In the winter, your usage totally goes down. So if you're buying solar and a power wall set up to accommodate uh, the summer, it's going to uh, cover you in the winter. Your electricity usage will just typically go down. Your homes are mostly made of cement block out here. Insulation is pretty good and uh, you might run the heater sometimes but generally it's it's very mild winters here in arizona so your ac won't be running all the time so these this is like an example day today was pretty sunny it's record temperatures high 80s low 90s the last couple of days as we are in mid-november but as you can see during the day this kind of graph is shows my actual pull from the grid and now this peak time is spread out throughout the whole day the negative part is the energy i'm feeding to the grid but from five to nine i really have no usage and starting in about seven minutes, I'm going to be tracking that usage and hopefully pulling everything from the power wall. Everything has to come for the power wall. So it's really important that we keep the battery as high as possible. And if I start to add some of the other items, if we look at the peak, uh, my pull from the grid isn't too accurate anymore. That's the other thing to keep in mind is if you start to change your peak times, which I'll show you a reason why in shortly, your pull from the grid in the winter is going to be off because I am now, it shows that I pulled from the grid during this huge window that's covered because I just changed it from 5 a.m. to 9, which is a huge spread. But it is actually off peak between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. So if I know I'm going to use some sort of heavy duty electric appliance, like right now I have an electric range and that uses a lot of power and I don't want to accrue demand charges. I know I'm going to cook dinner soon. So I preheat the oven during off peak. Like I'm literally turning the oven on at 445, 430 and the oven is just staying at 430. So that way I can actually come in here and change. As you can see, solar right now is almost nothing. Um, so you want to make sure the battery is is topped off. But under customize, I'll go to edit price schedule, and then I will actually push this to five to nine when I need to run some heavy appliance. If I'm running the heat, which I wouldn't do during the day, but maybe um, at other parts, I don't want that to pull from the battery when it's off peak. So I'll just change it to something like this, and then I can run the item. Maybe I want to run the AC right now because it's really hot. Um, and I want to feel cooler. I don't want that to pull from the battery because it's off peak, even though I have it set 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. I would rather do this, run the AC, and then when I'm done, I can uh, leave it this way. I just have to remember to change it back. But basically, as long this kind of ensures either get more power walls or just ensure that if you have some sort of heavy load that you want to do during off demand, uh, just keep an eye on your battery 
if you have very low usage between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m., you don't really have to worry about it. But leaving it like this, I hardly have to touch this unless I feel like I'm going to use some heavy duty electricity usage during the day, which might just be right now oddly running the AC or running the electric range plus the AC. And I don't really want that to prematurely pull from the battery or I want to charge during the day. Maybe I want to charge between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And I definitely don't want that to deplete the battery in a couple hours. I'll change this setting while I'm charging. When I'm done, I'll change it back. This is not ideal. Like I will fully admit this is not a, a video or setting that's like the end all be all. It fully sucks. Um, and that's something that we just have to kind of live with with SRP at the moment until Tesla does an update or there's easier ways to do uh, the management of this application. And I hope this was helpful. Uh, basically just set your setting 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then only when you have heavy loads like charging, running the range or the AC during the day, do you wanna probably turn that off and maybe turn it to backup only is another option. I can come into customize and say backup only. And now that's a setting that I'm going to change it to. And uh, if I change it to there, it's gonna reserve all the power for the battery and just pull from the grid. And then I can change it back to the advanced setting when I'm done. That's potentially an easier solve than just moving the slider all the time. So that's the tip. I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you liked it, feel free and like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more videos around Tesla, specifically around Arizona. And I'll talk to you in the next one. As always, take care, bye-bye.